Hi guys, I'm on UK here. Sorry I've not been around much, but um, I'm really busy with work as usual. And I'm currently moving house in the process of moving house, so I'm really busy. Anyway, uh, I've started this new section and it's uh, question and answers for beginners who are just going into keeping ants. But before we get started, let's take a look at uh, last week's question. Do ants actually have a bathroom? Ants New Zealand said ants do have a bathroom. They decide a spot that is usually away from the eggs and they'll start dropping bombs. <laughs> with a cheeky smiley face. E disgusting. I haven't seen it happen yet. Or maybe I've just not been looking for it properly. Germanian Ant said he was in the same boat as me. He had no idea if they had a bathroom, but he thought so that he had a bathroom. That was the same sort of thing I was thinking before I asked the question to you guys. Um, I was thinking, okay, they're going to have to have a bathroom. They're going to have to go somewhere and poop. Uh, Kieran said that his uh, Niger's have a toilet and he has to clean it soon. Uh. Well, good luck with the cleanup job, pal. Um, hope it goes well. Put some rubber gloves on. <laughs> you never know. Uh, William also said in the comment section, "I do have a bathroom. Uh, it could be if it could be the end of a colony if the disease is spread." Um, he said he remembers that Ants Canada did something about ant poop, and it looks like dry glue. Well, guys, the question we're going to co cover this week is, um, what does a queen ant look like? Now, for beginners, this can be difficult when they want to find a queen ant. So let's just go over the basics. Queen ant is always four times larger than the worker, but that can also depend on the species. For example, this image here is the Laceus colony. This is a Laceus meadow ant, so it's the Laceus flavus. The queen is obviously four times larger. You can see that compared to the workers. But if you were to have a capita ant species, uh, these are pretty big, the workers. So uh, what you have to do is by uh, to identify the queen is look at her fat abdomen. You uh, you can identify a queen in a colony by finding her by the fat abdomen on the queen, so the very back part of the queen. So when you're looking for a queen in a bigger species of ants, always look for the queen with the fat abdomen. You'll find her. But sometimes there can be problems trying to find a queen in a big colony. Um, workers can be big and she could be uh, not laying eggs so if she's not laying eggs she doesn't have a fat, a fat abdomen and makes it harder for her to find so it's always better to try and find them when they are in the egg laying season obviously that'll be from spring to the end of summer and then obviously when it starts to hibernate she isn't going to be laying eggs so she's going to go thinner um, but yes guys this is how you f but this is how you notice her she's always just remember the basics four times larger than a worker depending on the species and when you want to find her, just look for the fat abdomen. <laughs> Hope you enjoy the footage. This footage is old footage. I just put it together just to show you what a queen ant looks like. Uh, and you can see the workers there with her. And they're enjoying life and going along with it. Mm. But yes, simple. Really, really simple things. Um, just like I said, but when you get the bigger species, it can be a bit more difficult. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. and. Uh, I hope I've been able to answer that question for you beginners and fellow ant keepers and um, don't forget to check out the ant question of the week at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. This week and question is guys, what other common questions that and keep beginning and keepers may have? For example, um, like this question, uh, what does a queen ant look like? Uh, where can I find a queen ant? Uh, what sort of setup would I need to keep ants and to get a colony started? You know what I mean? Simple question. Leave a comment in the section below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching guys. Appreciate all your support, appreciate all your help, thank you so much.